Welcome back to Fish Food, ladies and gentlemen. It is now summer in the year four of the Ascension Wars. I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions Five, Warriors of the Faith. And I hear you can talk to Fish has finally researched a spell that will allow him to talk to Fish and hopefully cause the fish and sea creatures to rise up in our defense and aid us in our battle against the evil Tritons of Pelagia. We are attacking them in White Grave. Hopefully it will be their grave. We shall see. This is only one of our Morgans. Which one is it? Wet Wanda. Now with a full set of Morvox to help her out, and I think she's gonna just tear these guys a new one. Yeah, most of them are already running. Does Wet Wanda have a horror helm? No. So it's just her natural fear that causes him to run. That's fantastic. All right. Pelagia, however, is attacking us in Soth Alar. Okay, I don't know why we would have a leaderless Morvok knight there, but wow. She's pretty beat up, too. And a sea serpent randomly as well. That's pretty impressive, though, I have to say. We've got some Asp turtles. We've got these Aether warriors, who I'm pretty scared of. We've got stuff we've seen before, but in large quantity. That's Sothalar. Looks like Oceania is sallying forth against us in Baptizer. I feel for you guys, I really do. Oh, crap. I thought we had more Vox here. Because my plan was the fortress has been breached, but I didn't want to attack it with my soldiers. I wanted the Morvox to do it. So I was waiting for them to come in, so I thought they'd be here to help. I don't actually know how we're going to do right now. Oh, well, wait, never mind, they're here. <laughs> they were just hiding. Of course, this is, this is potentially bad, too, because they could flee. I never like having my Morvox fight alongside the troops for that particular reason. See, our enemies can talk to fish. Here they come. Big ones, little ones. Fish. Yeah, see? Fish. But our Morvox are getting around to the back here. I should forge more of those water elemental bracelets. They seem to do a very good job. Wow. Who the hell was that? Lefay the second. Does she have like heroic quickness? Yes, she does. Okay, that's why she just shot off like a bat out of hell. Look at that. Five stars of experience. So just to tell you, that gives her plus five to her defense. Plus five to her attack. Plus five to her precision. And I think that's it. That one, plus five to her morale. Really? I feel like it should be higher, but whatever. Mira? Mira has even higher morale. Why do you have such high morale? 14 plus 4, 18. Yeah, why is your morale so high? That's weird. She only has four stars. She's cursed, but for whatever reason, she's just geeked out on life. So, cool. Good for her. Wow, you see all that? That was his uh, holy word or whatever blasting down upon us. We lost 14 infantry, which is not a small amount with this small force, and one man-at-arms. But it's okay now. We're going to move our troops away, and we're going to let the Morgans take over. All right, Grandfather. This is the uh, <laughs> the trampling war lobsters again. I kind of hope they win, because Rayleigh is not my enemy yet. But they might be in the future. But they are definitely running out of war lobsters. Let's see here. Rayleigh was able to take out ten of them. And six large lobsters, so... Eventually, that province is going to fall. Now, they're finally doing something good for me. They're attacking Pelagia. With one guy by himself. Like, why does no one attack me with such stupid little armies? Instead, I get gigantic asp turtle forces. and like, One guy? Seriously? Anyway. They lost. 
surprisingly. All right, we are attacking the Tritons in the aptly named Triton Sea. Morbok Madness. Ooh, they're blessing now. They have priests. They're really trying here. A lot of good it is going to do them. All right, let's get these priests. Ah, oh, they ran. Whiners. All right, we're attacking Oceania in the Broken Land. Oh, right, yeah. With our swans. Go, swans, go! Come on, swans, you got this. You got this. Take out the Capricorn. Oh! Swan attack! God, they're terrible, though. Holy moly. They're already scared and ready to go. Like, why does their morale fall so quickly? Seriously. Like... None of these things cause fear. And the morale... Yeah, look at their... Down to five? Like... Why? Why? There, there's... I don't understand. Eight minus one minus two. So that's five, but it's plus three. So they lost three morale somehow. Like, I literally don't think these swans killed anyone. Like, I just can't understand why you'd ever recruit these. Like, what's the benefit of them? We have one lonely Morvok fighting on her own without a blessing and everything. She'll probably do more damage, though, than all of those swans combined. I just don't get it. Like, why would they even have a unit in the game that's that pathetic? That literally can't do anything, even when you have over a hundred of them. Come on, Morvok. Show these, uh, Marverni. What are they, what are they called? Kernus, what's up? Are you seriously fleeing? Are, are you, you, you're seriously doing this right now? What the hell, man? Does he have fear? No? I mean, he was casting Panic, but come on. Look at that. We outnumbered them royally. Oh, these guys are still here. Thank God for you, whoever you are. The Kurnu champion. And is it just your bodyguards? Even our swan herds are getting into the battle, which is fine because their swans are worthless. All right, so we won. It was ignominious, but we managed to win. We only lost one noble warrior and 67 of our 110 swans. We did not manage to kill the Capricorn. But that's okay. We did pretty well. I mean, we survived, right? Oh, but still, we lost an additional, like, what? 18 or so units on the retreat? Great. All right. Serenity. This must be a Morvok. Yeah, I wouldn't just send regular troops down here. This is Conandil and Dunlath. They both are fully kitted. She's extra killing power with the trident. She's got the poison resistance and the horror helm. She has none of those things but the horror helm, but she does have the bracer. So she's susceptible to poison and she can scare our enemies, but she does not have uh, extra killing power besides that, which she comes by naturally. All right, here we go. So we've kind of seen from this campaign that the Morvox are very vulnerable to spells like Lightning Bolt, to the Priest spells. They don't like those at all. One of our units in Grey Mountains has been cursed because they found this ancient skin-bound tome. Oh, that reminds me of the Necronomicon from the Evil Dead movies. Atlantis. Same thing. The same tome. It's moving around. And two of our units have been cursed. We lost a scout, we killed a scout, we lost a scout. Baptizer's breached, Sea of Woe is still not breached. We have a new famous hero, Danelle. Her brave deeds and her iron will are now told by bards. All right. Okay, so in Sothalar they have about 500 units. And we kind of saw that army out of the corner of our eye. We're in a bit of a problem here because they can go straight to our capital, and there's not much we can do about it. Triton C is just Morvox, so they're not going to do much. Hmm. 
In fact, let's just take Silent Ocean back from them. All right, this needs to be done. I hear you can talk to fish. We need you, buddy. Oh, we can also get a Queen of Elemental Water. Or a Wraith Lord. Ooh, it's going to have to wait, though. It's going to have to wait. For oh, Burden of Time. That would hurt us just as much as it would hurt our enemies, though. All right, Guardians of the Deep. So we actually need a little bit more water. But, all right, sea monsters will help the local militia defend underwater provinces for as long as the spell's in effect. A small local, that's fine. All right, so we need to give him some water. So, let's see. Nature guy, you can give your cloak to him, please. All right, now can you cast it? You can. And we're going to put a bunch of extra gems into it. I think 15 to ensure that it works and it can't be dispelled. Okay, so hopefully that'll help us, but it's not going to stop 500 of these things. So we have to come up with something here. We, we need a plan. No, don't go to Dardania. What the hell is wrong with you people? Okay. So first of all, let's take this throne finally. Morvox, you're going in. Now, I don't know exactly what to do here in the sense of, I don't know whether I should keep them back like I normally do and have them cast all their spells. Because that'll give the enemy time to cast their own spells and summon troops and swarm, whatever it is they do. Or if I should just put them right in the gate and just say, go in there. Without even blessing. They're pretty fast moving. But yeah, if they have guys in there casting swarm left and right, it's going to be a difficult day for us. They don't have a lab here. So they probably aren't, don't have gems. I mean, we could hope. All right, we'll storm it and just see what happens. These guys are going to keep their siege up. Oceania still has their capital. And they still have a bajillion land troops on Moloton. I'm happy just to leave them there. Honestly, I don't care. I don't need it. Sea of Woes really holding up to us. That means there must be a ton of troops inside of it. Which is actually good. We could starve them out. There's our one Morvok who fled. Okay, so we have broken land again, but we still can't use it to get up to Pelagia's land territories. All right, basic province defense. This is such a mishmash. But all right, we'll have these two kind of... We'll have Dorid kind of protect this area. We'll have our swan herds go back and waste our time some more. All right, so White Grave, Wet Wanda's doing her thing. Let's take him out in Sea of Rend. And then we might just send her alone against the, the land provinces, depending on what kind of uh, defense they have. Okay. So we're pretty dominant here. It's funny that our, our Dominion doesn't reach out here. I think it'll help once we uh, once we build a temple here in Sea of Woe. Sea of Karasos, though, I mean, that's our throne, which spreads Dominion. And a temple, and yet still our dominions being beat out? That's pretty impressive. Okay. Alright, that means Pelagia still owns a lot, and they're forted up like crazy. They have forts, every, and they're the highest level forts now. They've upgraded them all to castles. No palisades anymore. Remember when there was a nice little palisade? Was it Green Sea? No, no, we built Green Sea. I think it was this one. Xanthras used to be a palisade. We tried to take it. Didn't work out. Okay, I don't want to do with these ladies like I did with um, Guten and get them too far away from our lines to do anything. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep in reasonable areas here, but something's gotta be done about this. I just don't know what to do. All right, Biatha, you are going to be Guten the second. Okay. You have a, a strong legacy to live up to. But I mean, what what's one Morgan against just the ridiculous amount of things they're bringing to bear against us here? Yeah, our capital's not even safe. I mean, we have nothing here. We have some marrow. 
I guess we'll give the marrow to Iode, because he has the the trident and the water elemental and the leadership bonus. So we'll get them in a line, I guess. We'll get these guys. I guess we'll split these guys up. Take the flanks. I mean, we're... I have faith. Like, I feel like we're slowly moving in the right direction. But when I see something like this, like when I see this huge army of 500 people and I just have no answer to it whatsoever, I don't know what to do about that. All right, you're going to patrol, I guess, with whatever you can. You and the province defense. I almost wonder if I should send these four down here just to... I mean, they're not going to be able to stop this massive army. But just to put something in between my capital and this thing. Three huge sea serpents. An asp turtle that radiated power. Huh. Relay, if you could do some work for me now, I'd really appreciate it. We're recruiting everywhere. We have hardly any money at all. Oh, we have. looks like we have our... Yeah, we can recruit another Morgan. Fantastic. But that means we can't recruit a leader one. So not fantastic. I'd rather take the leader, I guess. Um, I mean, we're just down to recruiting the lowest of the low here in our in our capital. I guess we could pull this giant army back to Lake Seaweed, but then they can go down to Sea of Silence, and they could get into our territory this way. But at least it protects our capital. Oh boy, this is our biggest standing army right now. There's a Morgan, let's use her. Where's the best place for her? Probably holding attack rear. With the plus three morale. So he's good, I mean, he's got the numbness staff, the morale boost. Princess Peach is here. Actually, you out of my doing, let's give the Morgan to her. Hello. We have all the nymphs. The trolls. A bunch of clay men. Oh, they're all guarding, they're not really to be used in battle. Huh. Oh, we have another guy here, Agniak, and he has a. Actually, we could we could probably give his guys to uh, Princess Peach. To be perfectly honest. But we could use he has he's the one who has the friendly currents trident, so we need him. We don't really need this guy. We can give his troops, but he's the flanker. Our flanks are pretty weak. Um, hmm. Well, since we have this huge line here, is it a... Yeah, it's a double line, even. We don't really need Princess Peach's troops in the front. We can put them to bolster up the flanks. They actually have more morale if I give them to this guy. All right. So she's just got some, some clay men hanging out. Put them right up in the middle. We have our serpents that are going to run out in front. But as always, they're going to flank us. They always do. Alright. If this army fails, we're in some real trouble. So let's, let's give them some help. We want... We definitely don't want Guten in there. She'll just die. We want her to do her own thing. Probably in this direction. We'll head her down to Troll Sea. We don't really have any casters to spare, honestly. I guess Incha and Teomoid. And Indract. Okay. You're earthy, so you're going to do... Earth power. Um, should I bless you? Should I bless you? Yeah, okay. 
And then maybe... Maybe... Liquid Body. I mean, do I care, though, if this guy dies? At the end of the day, I mean, we better get one more attack in. And I'm thinking of what kind of attack, too, because... Well, he's going to have three Earths. So actually, he's not going to be attacking so much as he's going to be... Helping our guys. Iron Warriors and Legions of Steel. They both are there. How about... We'll do we'll have one do each. So you'll be our Legion of Steeler. And you will be... Our Iron Skinner. Or Iron Warriors, I say. What is Iron Bane? The armor of all soldiers on the battlefield will rust and become weakened. Do they have magical armor? That's actually really cool. Destruction kind of does the same thing, but... I mean, that might really help us, actually. I don't know. We'll give it a try. What do we got to lose, right? And we're missing one. Oh, yeah. Indract. You're just going to do what everybody else does. You're all about the frozen heart. All right. Anybody else we could send? Alchad? Yeah, I mean, everybody else is, like, part of our world. Fion, he could do Iron Warriors, I guess. We're losing all of our two Earth guys. But desperate times. Desperate measures. Alright, Earth power. Bless. And then... Iron Warriors. And let's actually put them up here near our troops. Or where are the Morvox going to be? The Iron Warriors guy is going to go with the Morvox. The Legions of Steel guy can go right in the middle. He'll get as many as he can. And the Destruction guy needs to be close to the enemy, so he'll go up too. Oh, I'm trapping one guy to encase in ice. I'm going to see if that does any good. The What makes it interesting is that it freezes, I think, th a whole square. So three people. So if you cast it three times, that'll be like nine people. I mean, it's not a ton, obviously. But the um, Frozen Heart only affects one person, and it might not even kill them. Whereas this will at least knock out nine guys from the battlefield. So I thought it was worth trying. Actually, this dude has the panic. Okay, that might help us. Okay, he's going to be casting that. Strength of Giants on this guy here. Let's actually... We already have someone else doing Legions of Steel, so let's... Let's replace that with Strength of Giants. Forgot all about that. And I guess we're yeah we're waiting at the, till the end to do Liquid Body. All right, it's risky, but desperate times. And the rest are just frozen harding. All right, that's our force. So we need to move more mages. Let's get these two to the capital to replace the ones that we lost. Yeah, let's just get a bunch to the to the capital from the outlying provinces. Okay, well that's oh, there's death to Pelagia. Let's um. Oh shoot, she can't meet up with them. Let's take out Kenise Plain. We have here oh cognats here. It's... Oh, we have another Morgan, or Morvok, but we can't give it to her because she's full, I think. Yeah. So. Cognat, just go back to Hungry Sea, please. We are storming here, so we'll see that next turn. Okay. Alright, what we need to do is whittle down this castle more effectively. Captain Koi. Just send your troops there. To just aid, to just help wear it down. We're still we're recruiting here, so we're fine. We'll get another captain. I think we're pretty safe at the moment, unless Riley decides to turn against us. Okay, you, sir, are just going to patrol, I guess. 
Captain Catfish. Aw, oh, yeah. You're getting a whole bunch of troops from Lake Fortune. Although, if I if I leave Lake Fortune, then that becomes open to attack. But we do have Tiernock here coming with troops. So, Captain Catfish, let's see if we can't get back to... No! <laughs> they all want to go to Dardania. I don't know why. They just love it there. All right. And are, so are they going to stay here and protect against this army in case they move here? Or are they going to move, continue the attack? This is not in our dominion, unfortunately. I just don't think four of them can do that much against. Although they do, they all have the vine shields. Three of them have the horror helms. She has an awe shield. But nobody has the trident. So they're only going to get the... But they all have frost brands, I think. She doesn't. She has the coral blade, which is fine. Gives her more hit points. Causes bleeding. She just has her regular golden lance. Alright. We'll just have you guys patrol here. For a turn. See what happens. Tori Alba? Oh, I guess you're sight searching, huh? Yeah, it's past time. I think you need to go home. All right, Atlantis is recruiting some troops, although some of them got cursed. Any of my commanders? No, they're all right. Cool. Okay, Great Blue. Diagothia. Yeah, yeah. Ardar. We can't afford to build a... Oh, damn. Look at all the resources here. We can't afford to build a lab, so we'll just spend the money on troops. Mohawkamok, you're going to patrol. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, you just have a random thing here. Let's give it to him. Go out there and get killed. Iron Warriors? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Desperate times. And you can kind of move up there, too. All right. That's this province here. We're going to patrol. Moist. What can you do for us? We're low on gems, obviously. A bishop fish wouldn't hurt, but it won't help us in battle. An asp turtle of our own would be nice. All right. Let's do that. Fionan. You're going to forge... Knight's Armor. Yeah, we have to rebuild our, our Water Gem Surplus here. We're having a little bit of trouble. We have plenty of helmets for the moment. So you could do Air Gems. Another Wall Shaker would be useful. Then Moen. You're also kind of air focused. I guess Chainmail. And then we're, we're pretty much out of air gems now. You know, I'm, I'm going to rename our nymphs to you're going to be Naughty Nymph. Because you're the death caster. And you are going to be Nice Nymph. Because <laughs> you're the nature caster. All right, cool. But they're just going to research because... She can only forge... I mean, she can forge water things, but we're low on water gems and we're low on death gems. So. Oh, he's patrolling? Really? By himself? I'm not going to do that, actually. You're going to defend. And you know what? This guy should build a temple, too. I don't know why I haven't done that before. I guess I just need the money. But, all right. Here's... What are we researching, by the way? Enchantment 6. That'll give us what again? That'll give us water ward. Right. We need to forge water lenses is what we need to forge. All right, well, here's here's where it all gets determined. I mean, if we if we just get crushed and they march on our capital, we're going to have a weird a weird time. All right, I hear you can talk to fish as cast Guardians of the Deep. All right, Battle in Sea of Rond. Wet Wanda. 
I mean, she should be fine. They do have poison. But in order for that to work, they have to actually hit her. Okay, someone was poisoned, but I don't think it was Wanda. And we won. We did lose a Morvok, though. Probably to poison. That's no good. Alright, Serenity, they're attacking us. That's actually in the south. Looks like they didn't attack us in the north. Oh, please tell us we could beat that. Oh, look! This is our friends! Holy crap, what did we get here? We got giant lobsters. We got trolls for some reason. We got sea serpents and sharks. Alright, it's not amazing. It's not as good, I don't think, as the uh, mechanical militia spell, which is kind of the same spell, only for land. But I'll take it. Let's see how we do. This is every one of our provinces now. Not super effective. I must have only put... Yeah, I only put 11 in here. So I was expecting to lose this province. If we could... This might be worth boosting up all of our province defense up to 21. If we could actually hold off our enemies. But it looks like we can't. Even with our animal friends. That's a shame. I was really hoping this would change the game for us. But it really isn't. Our lobsters are valuable. With their trampling. So they're, they're helping a little bit. But we still lost. Damn. Alright, Degore. More Vox? Um. Okay. Did I just not know this province was loaded with thousands of people? Conan Dill and Dunlath, yeah. Shit. Come on, Horror Helms. Make them scared. I mean, Shamblers we should be able to just romp on. They do have a Bishop Fish. So I gotta worry about him. But yeah, it just so pisses me off that their morale is so solid. Like, they never run. Where we have two horror helms here, so they should be that should be really impacting their morale, but still 14. So it's even better than it should be. So you're just like, what the hell? Like, how come morale doesn't affect you guys, but someone sneezes and my army runs away? Whatever. Kill them all. Leave none alive. Alright. They're really, you guys? Just leave Grandfather alone and fight. Oh, shoot. Okay, they might win this time. The only Eldritch Horror appears that they summon are these uh, formless spawns. Wow, you're sacred? Really? So do I really want a formless spawn with Twist Fate, Decay Weapons, and Magic Weapons? Son of a gun. Good thing they have no protection. But like, yeah, so they do... Starts decay, and also they count as magical. Yeah, the lobsters just getting their minds blasted into oblivion. Why can't you guys direct this army to Pelagia? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All of our Morgans, and we still lost this battle? They're all blessed. They're all good to go. Killing everything. Okay, everything looks good to me. Coming in. It's that panic. Once again. Even my Marvox. Look at that. Look at that. I, there's Something's got to happen. There's got to be some form of oh damn some bug because morale just doesn't affect our enemies but it affects the hell out of us the armies of Oceania are mostly routed and they still manage to win because of this guy Inopos the Capricorn what is he's enlarged okay Liquid body, of course. We're familiar with that. He has regeneration. 
Yeah, we're not doing a very good job hitting him. So he's the only guy left. Everyone else is routed. And we still couldn't seal the deal. I wonder what happens, though, if they route, but then they win. Do they just come back? Wow, that was a fiasco. We lost all five. Oh, my God. That was... I was not expecting that. I mean, holy shit. I mean, that... All the items they had, everything, that was... That could have taken out multiple provinces. <sighs> Our three Morvox that did get away survived. But that... Shit. That might be the end of us right here. I mean, we put so... That's five turns worth of everything. Worth of item creation, worth of... I never thought, I thought they just rammed through that province. I had, I had no thought at all that they'd have anything in there that could take us. And now I guess they just have one Capricorn. Dunlaith got heroic. Holy God. All right. I mean, this baptizer is like just the worst place in the world for us. We just get crushed. So, yeah. Death to Plage is going to come over here. I'm, we're just going to stay here until this son of a gun... I think they have to eat, right? So we're just going to stay here until he gets diseased and dies. He's only one guy, though, so I, that might be a while. Because each time it halves it, but as you get lower, it gets harder and harder, right? 500, then it gets to 250, but then it gets to 125. Then it gets to, you know, it takes a long time for it to get down to less than one. Huh. Five. Five of them. And we, and they, we didn't recover any of the items... Five. At least they're splitting up here in Triton C. We need to go pick up this one, Morvok. We need everyone we could get here. Oh, I'm just so pissed off. That is ridiculous. Catfish, get over here. Shark Tribe. Amber Clan. I honestly want to try my luck against this army, but I'm afraid. I feel like these guys could take them in terms of strength if there was no poison. If they didn't have poison, we could, I think we could take them. I don't know how we do against the Asp Turtle. Now nah, let's just go to the darks, pick up that Morvok. That... That is... that. Holy crap, dude. I think some of them were heroes, probably. Revenge. Damn it. I mean, I thought those Morgans would just go in there and just stomp on everything. I didn't know that they'd literally all get killed with all their items and everything. And some of them didn't even get killed by the Capricorn. Some of them just got killed randomly by nonsense. Huh. <sighs> all right. Chainmail. That, that. That. I guess we didn't we didn't get you a bracer. Oh well. We're kind of in a bad place right now as a nation, so we're just gonna have to take what you can get. But that holy crap. Holy crap. Alright, so what do we have? We have another sword, another chain mail. Oh, I could give her that. We have another shield, so all we need for the next one is the bracer and the girdle. We will give you the trident. Why not? So the only thing you do is you don't cause fear, but who gives a shit? I mean, as we've seen, it doesn't do anything. Our enemy, we can have, you know, two peasants fighting against us, and they're not going to get afraid, but we have our elite souped-up Morbox and one terror spell, and they're all running for the hills. Huh. <sighs> Sothalar is going to continually be a thorn in our side because we can't get around. And why? I guess, you know, another thing they could do is go over here and take White Lake. Kind of move up through here. They took Serenity back. Our fish army didn't exactly set the world on fire. Let's take down this temple. Yeah, let's go just go temple killing. Great blue, plenty, high ocean. Let's just take out all their temples that we can. We'll continue sieging this. 
there's no way in heck I'm going to attempt to storm it. Maybe the only way I'd do it is if we had, like, a bunch of Morvox that weren't guarding a particular hero. They were just kind of charging themselves. Mages might be able to be helpful, actually, if they could reach the Capricorn. I don't know how Liquid Body protects you against, like, your heart exploding. That might be worth attempting, honestly. What do we have here? Friendly Currents might be helpful. Hmm. I don't know. We're just going to sit there for a second. These worthless swans. <laughs> just... Actually, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop even summoning them. What's the point? Just, just... Just hang out, patrol. I mean, they're useless. Completely useless. Oh, boy. There's some of our more box that made it out. So we've lost a lot of tactical flexibility here, but at least... You know, we can meet these guys up. We can meet Conondil and Dunlaith up with Wet Wanda. We can just kind of, Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get some basic province defense. Let's let our animals out. Oh, Sea of Woe. I didn't even check to see. Nope. The walls are severely damaged, but more time. They must have a ton of units in there for the walls to last that long. Which makes me scared to even storm it with what we have here. We do have plenty of Morvox. Well, we'll see. Sea of Carrasos. We'll have some troops here. What's left of our income is going to get spent on a replacement Morvok. Our resources are steadily going back up, which is nice. This place is looking good. I guess we'll give these guys to R10. And Guten, oh yeah, we have Guten the second. Forgot about her for a second. I guess she can kind of patrol. You don't want to use him defensively, as we've seen. I want to take maybe Serenity back. They're getting wise, though. They're moving a bunch of troops up here. Hopefully, now that Relay has Grandfather, they will focus their, more of their attention on Pelagia. I mean, that's my hope. They, they might attack me instead, which would be ridiculous, but they might do it. We have so many mages here. Like, Green Sea is like our mage stronghold. Snip, snip. You're full of troops, huh? Do we have another commander here somewhere? Or is it just mages for days? Yarrow. Alright. Yarrow, bring these troops to... Yes, please. Alright. Man, we just got... We just got completely bamboozled there. Alright, so what's next? I guess we could get a... Queen of Elemental Water... We'd have to alchemize some gems, but they're actually incredibly good super combatants. I wonder how they would fare versus the uh, Morvox. Not versus, but I mean in place of. I mean, they're absolute super combatants, so you th throw items and they should be able to single-handedly take on armies. They should be poison resistant, being as they're made out of water. We're up to 42. I mean, right now, we're basically trying anything we can. So, let's do it. Um, alchemy. Alright. Won't leave us with much, but... Maybe she could help. Queen of Elemental Water, thank you. We'll use the gems we do have. We'll get... Something fiery. Fiery. 
I mean, this is silly, because we don't need fire resistance, but it will improve morale. I think we already have a couple of these helms. Yeah, we have one. I guess another one wouldn't hurt. Because we're really low on air gems, too, so we can't forge a lot of the air stuff. What does this cost? Water. I wonder if a firebrand would even work underwater. <laughs> Or we could do another Aw Shield. Nah. We could, well, this would improve the morale of our Morgans. Five is not something to sneeze at. What does this do again? Okay, same thing as the other one, just not as good inspiration, and it gives you enlargement. I don't know if that's necessarily useful for us. Yeah, not a lot of fire things that we need, really. I guess we'll just do the helmet. Just We don't need one, but to have it. Nature guy? I guess that, yeah. Bind shield. Moen? Nine air gems. But you do have a hammer. Was... That's 15, though. Yikes. That's only five. Alright. Oh, and Labraid. He only has really strength in water. Ah, oh, that costs 10. No, nope, can't afford it. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to waste more of my water gems. You'll just research. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're at already. We're almost at 50 minutes. I don't know why this takes so long. I guess it's just because this... Our land isn't particularly large, but there's so much going on that I might have to start editing, editing stuff out of the turns. But Sea of Carassos is finally under our dominion. <laughs> our dominion is slowly, slowly growing. I'm just completely heartbroken about this, though. That's just one Capricorn, and he slaughtered five Morvox, I mean five Morgan champions with five for whatever Morvox each. They didn't have five, but they had like three each. And everyone died. All their items, everything. That's just so, so heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. And this is this is going to be our big front here. Because they have so many troops. They have Sothalar that we need to take. It's already raised up to the size of Castle. We're moving troops here, as you can see, from all corners. To Yis, to help. As long as Relay stays peaceful, hopefully we'll be okay. Good in a second, I forgot... I didn't move you. We'll move you over to... Uh... Alright, we'll try Griffa. Hopefully they won't attack. Well, there's no province defense, so we should be okay. That's good. For once, I'm happy we don't have province defense. Well, that's it, folks. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm just broken down here. This has just been a stalemate for so long. I finally thought we were going to rest another throne. I thought it was no chance they were going to make it. Uh, and defeat us, and they managed to somehow, and it's just, it's just depressing. Anyway, once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Go out there, do something great. Have a good one.